Hey there, welcome to Matic Stringworks. Glad to have you here. So please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. So today on the bench I have a 2008 Squire Affinity Series Telecaster and this Telecaster is going to get a Bigsby tremolo on it. I think uh, Bigsby's and tremolos and Telecasters were meant for each other. So I've had this guitar since 2008. Uh, I use it pretty much as a project guitar. You know, change the tuners. I added that momentary switch, the arcade style switch. You know, I've done the frets on it, done wiring, all kinds of things. So I had a tremolo, a Bigsby tremolo in my parts bin. <laughs> And I'd ordered this uh, Telecaster bridge you know, a while ago and just haven't used it. So I said, ah, let's see if we can modify it to use it on this guitar for this build. So let's have a go. All right, we'll start off by removing the strings, of course. I was trying to think of how to do this project uh, for a while now, and I figured I'll just start <laughs> using the parts I have, and we'll see where it goes. I'm pretty sure we can get something to work here. I was going to try and reuse these strings as well, just for the setup and that, but uh, they were cut too short once the Bigsby was installed, so just uh, have to put a new set of strings on. And we'll take this bridge plate off. Now this one has a flat bridge, right? There are no sides. It's not uh, the ashtray style. Plus there's six individual saddles, not shared saddles. And the Telecaster pickup has to be removed completely from the bridge before you can take the bridge off. And this bridge has four holes, the new one does not, <laughs> or five holes, sorry, the new one does not. So the new bridge is not quite big enough to cover the existing route, but again, that's okay. This is a project guitar, so I wasn't looking for anything exact, and if I was ordering something specifically for this, obviously I would have made sure that uh, it fits exactly. So little springs. That help. Uh, that's basically how the pickup gets adjusted inside this bridge on a Telecaster. It's a little fiddly, gotta say. <laughs> Twisted her out a few times. Could use a, another set of hands or a third hand at least. But you just put the springs in between the bottom of the bridge and the pickup. There's a lip on the pickup. So now I'm going to mark out the scale length. should be 25 and a half. And that'll be my reference point to see where this bridge lines up and where the saddle, where it is right now, where it lines up and if we have enough adjustment on the saddle for intonation. So you can see that the front is not quite covered yet and just that side there. Now from this side you see it more right from the top you don't really see it but from the side you see so you can see it just barely showing there. So I'm gonna line up the saddle you can see it's all the way forward with the 25 and a half inch because if anything we're probably gonna have to bring this saddle back and then all the other saddles will come back as well. So as long as that treble E string is right at your scale length, you should be good. Always mark and then pre-drill your holes, of course, especially when you have a finish on the guitar already. <coughs> Even though this is a project guitar, I still don't want uh, I still don't want cracking all over the place. So I'm going to use these centering bits, Vix bits they're called. So they sit inside that chamfer and center the bit pretty nicely on the hole you're trying to drill. 
slow and steady. Not going to go in too far. I usually like to put in one screw on the outside edge, on each outside edge, so that lines everything up, and then drill out the other two holes after that. So now I'm just going to check the alignment of the strings and where the bridge is to make sure that it looks like the string spacing is even on the two E strings, first and sixth. I'm just using the old strings here to do that. And it looks like it lines up pretty good. I measured uh, along the neck and it was even. So I'm happy with that. It's where it was before, pretty much. So the strings go right over the pole pieces. All right, so now that the bridge looks like it's in the right spot, I'll position the Bigsby. Again, you can move it up a little bit, a little bit back. I sort of checked where the tram arm landed, and this was a good position. I'll mark it with tape and l sort of just, you know, tape it down so it doesn't move once I'm happy. And do one hole at a time. Then reposition if I have to. So this, this one I just used a punch, centering punch, and then pre-drill. Worked well. Lots of ways to do it. So you just get, you know, you don't want to force those screws, tighten them down by hand at the end. We're going to use 10 to 46s. These are the new strings, so we should have enough length with the Bigsby now. So I was getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> I forgot I had to uh, grind the slot there at the back of the bridge to allow the strings to go by. So I attached the bridge to a block of wood so it's easier to hold. And I'm going to use the grinding wheel here on my Dremel. Got a little block of wood to rest my hand on as well. And just grind away. Who doesn't like uh, seeing sparks fly like that, eh? Oop, a little slip. So this worked, uh, this worked surprisingly well. I was really happy with how clean the cut was. It was actually very smooth too. So, yeah. Just fine tuning them a bit. And the edges that look like they're a little rough. Should be pretty close. We'll see when we get it on the guitar. Make sure the strings pass by without them hitting the edges of these cutouts. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's definitely strong enough still to withhold, uh, to withstand the tension on the strings. Lots of steel there still. All right, so now we can put the four screws in. So the, the original bridge had three screws, the new one has four. <laughs> and you can see they're not in the same spot, right? The other bridge is a little bigger. That's okay, like I said, project guitar. Probably won't fill those holes. I'll probably do something else to this guitar in six months or a year. Yeah, so everything looks like it's lining up like it's supposed to. So let's get those strings through there. And we'll see how it looks. 
So here we go. So I'm really happy with the cutouts. They worked really well. So just on the first string, you'll see here, it's just a little bit close there. Right? So I need to grind that out a little more. And off camera, I ground it out some more. So there's lots of room in there for the string to move without touching the side of the slot. So it's pretty simple. It's working. I'll have to do a setup now, right? <laughs> It's squeaking a little bit too, so I'll oil it up a little bit. The springs on the saddles as well as the Bigsby. Alright, so now that that's in place, we'll do a standard setup. So let's do the neck relief. Should be between 10 and 12 thousandths at the 7th fret. So this one was just a little tight. The ten thousandths was rubbing against the string, so we'll loosen up the truss rod a little bit, get a little more neck relief. You never know with these import guitars, this one's made in China, what size nut exactly they're using. Usually it's a four mil, but this one turned out to be a five mil. <laughs> so this is actually the Martin wrench that I have, so I'll just get it in there and We'll check that relief again. There's the 12,000th feeler gauge. And if it's just scraping the 12,000th, well, we know that it's you know somewhere between 10 and 11,000. So that's perfect. Next thing to do is the string height. So we make sure everything's in tune again, still in tune. I stretch the strings a little bit, of course. So we're going to try and get the action to 464 at the 17th fret. That's the Fender recommended height. And as long as the guitar can handle it, doesn't buzz out or choke out or anything like that, then 464 is great. So I'm just using my 464 feeler gauge and getting the strings to the correct height. Now I did raise the saddles up before putting the strings on quite high, so I was hoping to just lower them. And you don't have to go back and forth uh, loosening the strings as much. So that worked out. And the intonation, I actually just sort of measured, copied what was on the existing saddles transfer them over to these ones approximately and you know what it turned out really well the guitar is very well intonated as intonated as a guitar can be <laughs> now we'll check the action at the first fret and this guitar is sitting right around 20,000 so that's just fine you know 18 to 22 is generally good Lower is uh, very rare. Some guitars do have lower action there. And then finally, the pickup height should be about 1 8 on the bass side and 3 30 seconds on the treble side. Now, I didn't do the neck pickup. Again, this is a project guitar. It's going to sit on my wall for a while, but uh, you have to remove the pick guard. <laughs> so I didn't really feel like doing that. I did measure it quickly, and it was fine. So. I'm happy where it is, but because I can adjust the bridge one, well, we'll adjust the bridge one. And then we're pretty much done. So thanks for watching. This was fun. And please remember to like and subscribe. I'll make some more videos. <laughs> There's that Bigsby trim. All right. Stay safe. Bye for now.